Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today is week 15. We've got the Sacramento State Hornets traveling to take on the San Diego Toreros to start things off today. And Sacramento State, they have a good strong safety. Barrett Hodges, 76 tackles on the year, 6 forced fumbles. Fantastic player, 84 overall. And this team actually does have a handful or two of decent players. They've just had a rough season so far overall. They don't have a lot of depth, and it's really showed for this team. Kenny Bell, Richard Senior quarterback. Uh, once he graduates after this season, they're going to be even in worse shape than they were before, unless they get a high-value uh, prospect in the offseason. But a couple of decent offensive linemen for them. They're ranked 93rd nationally, only one conference victory. And they're going up against the 6-5 San Diego Toreros, who are 6-1 in conference. Hornets on offense first. Here is Bell taking a shot right side to Kemp. First down and more up to the 46-yard line. And they have 12 yards to go here for a first down. Bell cannot connect with his receiver, Dylan Tong, with the hit on the target. That'll bring up fourth down and 12. And the Toreros get the ball. Here is Daryl Ballard. Play action. All day to throw. The offensive line does great, but he throws a pick. So he finally gets a decent pocket to throw the football out of, and he throws it to the wrong team. You see Navy beat Army 7-6, and they claim the Commander-in-Chief trophy. Saw that on the bottom of the screen. Fourth down and six. Crowd going crazy right now. And Bell, right side, man, wide open. It's Cole. He's got the first down. What a hit by Dylan Tong, his 66th tackle on the year. Second down and 10 now as the Hornets look to get on the board first. And this pass is way off the mark. They're going to call pass interference. And it looked like the cornerback collided with the receiver on the route. Second down and 10 once again. Bell all day. No pressure. Here is Johnson. And another massive hit from Dylan Tong. He's been doing it all year. But Wheeler, the fullback, is going to punch it in here. And Sacramento State strikes first. 7-0. How will the Ballard, the Ballard brothers respond? They will respond with a huge run from Robbie Ballard. He exploded off the edge. And you do not see a lot of speed from him very often, but he showed all of it on that run. An 81-yard touchdown run. That gets him up over 1,700 rushing yards for the year. And that is his 16th touchdown on the ground. What a burst he showed through the, the open hole. Sacramento State back on offense. Bell left side intercepted by Jones. Tries to spin and returns it up to the 20-yard line. And a little bit of taunting here. And that was not a good decision by Bell. Threw into triple coverage. Daryl Ballard looking to throw. Pump fakes. Clean pocket again. Bryant is open inside the five-yard line. The O-line doing phenomenal so far today. And Robbie Ballard again showing that speed burst. Finds the end zone for his 17th touchdown run this season. He's among the top 10 in the nation for running backs. On the ensuing kickoff. On the three-yard line is Cole, their top receiver. Nice block on the outside. Cole up the sideline, up past the 40, the 50, the other 30, and he will score. So many special teams touchdowns this season, and I'm hoping with some good recruiting, That'll not happen as much. What a throw to Demetrius George and a great job by him holding on to the football. That is his 41st catch as he looks to get to 1,000 yards receiving. He came into the game with 934 yards receiving. Robbie Ballard stuffed at the line of scrimmage, taken down by the face mask, though. And that's going to be a first down for the Toreros. Doug Lay leads the team in touchdown receptions with nine. Demetrius George has eight. Ballard, pass left side, picked off by Johnson. And this is not good, folks. Daryl Ballard's going to track him down to 44-yard line of San Diego, though. Just not a good throw. I'm not sure what happened there. It looked like he didn't get enough on it, perhaps. Just, just not good. Third down and one for the Hornets. And that pass should have been caught for a touchdown. Not very good coverage by Isaac Price. But they will settle for a field goal attempt. 28-yarder, kick is up. And it's close. They count it. That is good. And Sacramento State takes the lead. This is a rivalry game, folks, in case you didn't know. As Robbie Ballard breaks loose again. Right side still running people over like a bowling ball. 
and gets to the 37-yard line. This is a rivalry game, and I do have San Diego winning this game. And it looks to be a really good one so far as Daryl Ballard gets crushed in the backfield, and so does his brother Robbie. And that was unfortunate. Sacramento State back on offense. Another completion, this time to Kemp up towards midfield. Dylan Tong with his fourth tackle of the game. One more, and he'll have himself 70 tackles this year. And there it is right there as Red gets close to the marker. And they'll give him the first down. Halfback is on fire right now. They go play action, and Bell is sacked. And who was that? That was Boom Johnson on the sack. His fourth of the season from the defensive end position. Only his tenth tackle of the year. He has not been a huge factor but every once in a while he makes a nice play like that and here is a precision pass on third and 16 to get the first down bell play action again thrown over the middle wide open is camp touchdown hornets and what a great throw from bell right here rolled out to the left threw it back towards the middle dylan tong a little slow getting there and could not make a play on the ball so the Toreros down 10 points, and they go three and out right after that. And Burke has a nice catch, running past the 30 inside the 25-yard line with 10 ticks left on the clock here in the first half. So the Toreros, they need something big to happen for themselves right now. They got to get a stop here, hold these guys to a field goal attempt at least, and they do just that. 36-yard attempt, the kick is up, and it is good. 27-14 as we head into halftime. Toreros getting upset by their rival at home right now as they look for their seventh win on the year. Ballard to throw it. Rolling out right side. Takes a deep shot over the middle. Wide open is Espinosa. First down and more to the 42-yard line. That is a great way to start off when they're down by 13 points. Toreros are no stranger to close games. They've had quite a few this season, winning by one score. Let's see if they can't pull off a comeback here. Down 13. Ballard, pump fakes, throws it out. Espinosa's open again at the 22-yard line. First down, San Diego. And they're going to keep throwing with Ballard, and Bryant is found wide open inside the 10-yard line. And now Robbie is going to punch it into the end zone for the touchdown and make it a one-scored game. And just a great drive by the quarterback, Daryl Ballard, who's had a rough go of it this year. 22 touchdowns, 27 interceptions coming into the game. And just over 2,500 yards is a nice completion to Burke. Fumble! Dylan Tong forced it. And Jones recovers. That is Dylan Tong's fourth forced fumble on the year. And that is his eighth tackle of the game. That'll give him 73 on the season. So a great play by him. And yes, of course, that was a user strip. You're welcome. First down and 10 for the Toreros. Down six. Deep shot, left side, Doug Lay's got it inside the 10-yard line. They continue to have clutch plays in the second half of ball games this year. Still down six points, though, but here's a nice completion to Doug Lay, and that is his 10th touchdown reception of the year. And what a throw that was from Daryl Ballard. And they now take the lead, 28-27, over their rival Hornets. And on the ensuing kickoff, Johnson busts it out to the right side. Wilson giving chase. Can he get there? He finally tracks him down for 30-yard line. What an angle by the linebacker on special teams. From the 29-yard line, third down to 10. Bell, all day to throw. Left side deflected away by Brock. Great play. Fourth and 10. They're going for it. They want it all here. Bell, right side to Givens. He fumbles the football, and it goes out of bounds. And that was a turnover either way. Star corner back out there, forcing a the fumble. Very nice play. That was a great throw from Bell, but the receiver just didn't run the route far enough for the first down. San Diego now with a chance to take an even bigger lead. Robbie Ballard up the middle, picks up 13 yards. And he is seventh in the country for rushing yards this year. Over 1,700. And he'll get some more here. And a first down up to the 50. First down to 10. Darrell pressured, sacked immediately. The fullback kind of stopped behind him. And that was really the big difference right there. Not a good play by the fullback. Nice sack by Morales. Third and 25. Ballard pressured, steps up into the pocket. Nobody's open, and he just tries to get as many yards back as he can. And again, just not a good play. The offensive line has been awful all season. Ballard's been sacked um, probably... 50 times this year at least. 
Russell makes a man miss without even doing a move. And he'll get it up to midfield. They're down to five. We're in the fourth quarter, guys. Get your fours up. Nice completion to Kemp over the middle again. He's been wide open across the middle of the field all game. Bell to throw. Left side open is Burke. He accelerates inside the 10-yard line and breaks a tackle for the score. Isaac Price can't make the tackle. Luke Moss, their middle linebacker, is now injured. Hopefully that's not too serious. They're going for two points here to make it a seven-point game, but Dylan Tong has other plans. So a great drive, ends with a touchdown, but a missed two-point conversion, which is critical. It's only a five-point game. Luke Moss is out for one week. He'll be fine. Pac-10 does not have a conference championship game. And here is Robbie Ballard pounding the rock. They're down in four. I formation, tight end to the right side. And Ballard gets the ball. He bounces around in the backfield. First down and more still going up to midfield. What a run from Robbie Ballard. Looked like he was going to lose three yards. And just bounced right off of the linebacker. And somehow escaped for a 20-plus yard run. They're down to 13, though. They're going to need a big throw here from Daryl Ballard. He finds Sykes, and Sykes gets the first down. Clutch throw from Daryl. They're down by five points. Robbie Ballard to the outside. First down, and dragged out of bounds by the safety. Still going here with Robbie Ballard, and he'll get eight more yards. Just keep giving it to the big guy. He's been carrying this team all year long, and he's going to do it again here. First down. And tack on a 15-yard penalty for the face mask. They'll actually give him nine yards. It's half the distance to the goal. First and goal from the nine. And the backup running back's in. That's Soltis. And he will score. And Fouts wants to go for two points here. And Fouts, of course, leaving San Diego after this season to pursue other opportunities. So we will see a new head coach on the sideline for the Toreros. But in the meantime, let's focus on the game at hand. Ballard for two points, is going to walk in for it to make it a three-point game. 36 to 33. This rivalry game is going to come down to an exciting finish with less than a minute and a half remaining in the game. On the ensuing kickoff, Johnson, he almost broke one earlier. Johnson, can he do it this time? Dylan Tong trying to chase him down. He doesn't have the speed. Touchdown, Sacramento State. What a play. With a minute 10 left on the clock, 40 to 36. They need another huge drive here from uh, Daryl Ballard. He's going to pitch it out to Soltis on the option. He'll pick up 16 yards and a first down. Robbie Ballard now back in the game at halfback. Daryl rolling right, and he finds Demetrius George. He's been doing it all season. That reception gets him over 1,000 yards. Ballard again to throw it. Over the middle, Demetrius George lays out for it for the catch. Oh, my goodness. First down. Darrell rolling out left side. He's got Doug Lay wide open this time. Jukes breaks the tackle, and Doug Lay is in for the touchdown. There's an offsides penalty. It doesn't matter at all. The Toreros take the lead. Crazy ending here. There's still time left for Sacramento State to do something. Oh, my goodness. San Diego's been doing this all season long. I feel like this is their third game that they've done this. And it's just been amazing each time. Miller, nice catch, bounces around, escapes, and gets it up to the 37-yard line. Hornets with two timeouts remaining. 12 seconds to go. And it's now second down and 10. Bell taking a deep shot to the end zone. Double coverage deflected away with six seconds remaining. And it's going to come down to a Hail Mary on fourth down and seven. Bell. To throw it over the middle, and that was not a great play design at all. And San Diego is going to come away with their seventh win on the season. They are now 7-5. Sacramento State drops to 2-9. But what a game. What a rivalry game. What a way to finish off the regular season for San Diego with a huge win. Final home game for Dan Fouts here in San Diego. Of course, he was the quarterback for the Chargers way back in the 80s. And just what a great send-off for him in his final game in front of his home crowd. But they will get a bowl game. They do not win the Pac-10. The Pac-10 belongs to Cal Poly this year. But I believe next year is going to be even wilder than year one. 458 yards of offense today for San Diego. 
Ballard was sacked twice. There was two turnovers, both interceptions. Ballard now with 29 picks on the season. And he has really struggled. But I blame a lot of it on the offensive line. He doesn't really have a whole lot of time to throw the football all season. So, got to give the, the O-line some of the blame. But what a crazy second half. 29 points for San Diego to come back and win that one. Ballard also with 24 touchdown passes on the season. Robbie Ballard goes for 205 and three scores. So he now has 1,858 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns. Demetrius George, five catches, 83 yards. He now has 45 catches and over 1,000 yards. Doug Lay, 11 touchdown receptions on the season now. Rick Wall with six pancakes. That'll give him 47 on the season. Dylan Tong, 10 tackles. He now has 75. He's also got 10 tackles for loss, one sack, five interceptions, a bunch of pass deflections. We'll see how many he had in this game, and I'll tally it up after that. Tackles for a loss, four. DJ Payne had one. Boom Johnson, Dylan Tong. Of course, Boom Johnson had one sack. That's all he had today was just that one play. And Dylan Tong, two pass deflections, and Price with three. Price now has 16 deflections. Dylan Tong also with 16 pass deflections on the year. No field goals today. And three punts. Not a terrible day for the kicker. Demetrius George had a 65-yard kick return. Players of the game, Bell Johnson and Johnson. Ballard, Lay, and Jones, who had the interception and triple coverage on the left sideline. Luke Moss was injured. He'll be back for the ball game. Don't you worry. Our next game, which will be out after this one, North Dakota State travels to take on the fourth-ranked Bryant Bulldogs, looking for a huge upset. I'll see you guys at that one soon. Take it easy.